Most vehicles use a liquid cooling system to remove excess heat from the combustion process. So what do you do when that vital fluid starts leaking? Running low, or worse, completely running out of coolant is one of the worst things that can happen to your vehicle's engine. And it can actually result in catastrophic engine failure if things overheat badly enough. Ask me how I know. If you suspect that your vehicle has a coolant leak, then the first step is going to be to identify the source of that leak. There are a number of places that you could be leaking coolant from. Water pump is a common one. You've also got heater hoses coming off of the water pump here and down here that run to your heater core inside the car. And, that, um, and that's where the heat comes from when you turn the heat on in your car. So check those hoses. You've got upper and lower radiator hose here. You've also got a coolant overflow tank. You can check there and um, between one of these things then you should be finding the source of your leak. If there is a puddle of green or orange coolant underneath your car then you might be able to see right where it's coming from. If it's not immediately obvious the next thing you want to do is go ahead and make sure that the radiator is full. Top that off if it needs a little bit. Just make sure that you use straight water if you do this because you don't want to put any more antifreeze in the system if you do have a coolant leak. Now that we've got the cooling system topped off, let's go ahead and start the car. Let the engine warm up to normal operating temperature and then we're going to check again for leaks after everything's nice and hot. Just remember that everything is nice and hot. You may have a really tiny leak so it might not be immediately clear where it's coming from even after you've started the car and let it warm up. If so, there's another trick we can try to figure out where that's coming from. You can add some UV ultraviolet dye to the cooling system. If you're going to try this method, go ahead and pick up some UV dye at your local auto parts store. Add that to the coolant in the radiator just like we did with the water. And then go ahead and drive your car around for a little while. Um, again, you want it to get hot, you want the coolant to cycle around the engine, and you want to give it a chance to cycle that dye through and then leak out wherever it is leaking. Once you've driven it around a little bit, come back, and it doesn't matter at this point if the car is hot or cold, go ahead and shut it off. And if you added the dye, then you also want to get a UV light, a little black light, like something like this, a couple bucks on the internet, um, or the auto parts store should have that. Once you've done that, then wherever the leak is coming from should fluoresce underneath this UV light. So it should be very obvious where it's coming from. For my Trans Am here, I actually already know where the water leak is coming from. It's coming from the back of the water pump and where the water pump meets the block. So that's what I need to fix. But if you did use the UV dye method to figure out where your leak is coming from, then you should find a spot that looks something like this give you an idea you see there where it fluoresces and I just did this with a highlighter but it's the same effect if you put the dye in there then you're going to be able to see where your leak is coming from by shining this light around you probably have to do this in the garage or somewhere shaded because if it's really bright you're not going to see this but there you go that's going to help you determine where your leak is coming from if it wasn't immediately obvious so like I said I already know where I'm leaking from. It's coming here from the water pump where it meets the block in the back on either side. So I've got new gaskets for that. So I'm going to go ahead and get to work on pulling this water pump off and fix that leak, hopefully. All right, guys, so that's it. That's how you find a leak if you are leaking coolant out of your car. I hope that this was helpful to you. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't, and don't forget to check back next week for another video with tips and tricks. I'm going to work on uh, putting together videos on the Trans Am and the Blazer for the full backstory on both of those vehicles here. So I'm going to try to get one of those together for next week. Let me know what you think down below. Please like the video if you did, and see you next time.